Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. It is a Monday afternoon, a wild and windy Monday afternoon, so if you hear strange howling in the background it is just the wind. And uh, yes, I took a day off yesterday to celebrate South Africa's win in the Rugby World Cup and I wasn't the only one celebrating. Interestingly, Myra, I'm sure some of you know Myra on Twitter or X as it now is, Myra, it turns out, we thought she was 43% Nigerian, but Myra turns out to be 100% South African. So there's that. That was interesting. But anyway, well done to everyone and uh, happy days. We needed a, a, a lift here in this country. I'm sorry for the people we beat along the way by one point. But as I say, we needed a boost. And uh, so a happy, a happy little country yesterday. But I'm back at the tarot table. I have the Shadowland tarot on the table for this particular reading. It's a bad behavior tarot deck. And uh, we have a story of bad behavior. In fact, we have two stories of bad behavior to discuss today because people are telling some truths, it seems. The truth is beginning to come out at last. True colors being revealed. And the first story, I have mentioned it already on this channel, is the Duke of Beaufort who uh, is telling tales. He's writing his memoirs, I think, or I don't know where quite and how this came into the, the possession of the Daily Mail. But it's an interesting story. And it goes back to when has been was 16 years old and was attending a party at badminton with the rest of the upper crust all the posh kids, the girls and boys, you can imagine the kind of society and the kind of dresses and the kind of money and influence. And uh, he was fine at first, according to the Duke. Well, he wasn't the Duke then, but uh, the now Duke. Uh, he was fine. He was blending in quite well at first, which is an interesting statement in itself. I'm quoting from the article in the Daily Mail, by the way. Um, but suddenly... He became possessed, quoting again, walked over to a girl, picked her up, tossed her over his shoulder, marched over to the pool and chucked her in the pool. And then everybody laughed and so he did it again to another girl and another and another. And people stopped laughing and he carried on and on and on. And nobody did anything until Steve, the butler, intervened and told him very firmly to stop. Now you can imagine, first of all, these poor girls dressed up, uh, got themselves all pretty. It's never warm in England to be chucked in a pool by a prince and have your, your wet dress clinging to you. Very embarrassing. No spare clothes. Your hair's all messed up. You're a teenage girl. Not the best thing, not the happiest thing ever to happen to you. So so many questions. How did he suddenly become a man possessed? What was he thinking? Why did nobody intervene until Steve decided to step in? The butler. It's crazy. And this is why has been could never find himself a wife in um, amongst the British aristocracy and had to find a D-list actress from a cable television show uh, to be his wife. So very interesting story. As I say, I've got the Shadowland Tarot on the tarot table and I have Fluffy hovering at my feet. So I have to watch where I stand as I do this reading. Um, but uh, some questions. And the question is, what kind of a man or boy was Harry at 16? What was wrong with him? If anything, how did he suddenly become possessed? Uh, substances, what was going on. We know that he was drinking from the age of 11 and doing drugs from not much later than that. Um, so was that it? The girls, how did the girls feel? And uh, how did the girls feel about him generally from that class as a mate, as a potential boyfriend slash husband? Was it worth it or was it just, no, thank you, don't want to go there, not interested, he's the spare, he's got no money and he's got some problems possibly. Then how about the toffs? Why? Um, well, what did they think of Harry? 
what did they think of this behavior of him at that age? What did they view, how did they view him at that age? Why didn't they intervene? And what can we make of this story? What does it tell us about Harry generally? And what does it tell us about his relationship with women? Because there are stories. There are stories about his treatment of women. There are stories, uh, speculation that uh, he might have some anger issues around women. There are some stories that maybe uh, his interests to lie elsewhere and he's confused and angry as I say. So what does it tell us generally about that? We have looked at these things before on this channel those conclusions uh, about possible anger issues and possible um, sexual identity issues and of course we have to say as I keep shuffling that this is all just tarot for fun and entertainment it is all speculation it is all just my opinion and I just read energy here archetypal energy that we can learn from the archetypal royal family there is a disclaimer in the box below I think the cards are warmed up I think we've said everything we need to say so we're going to look at Harry himself as a 16 year old um, and the girls and the toffs and uh, conclusions we can draw from this very strange story and it's also very interesting that it's uh, being told now and uh, we might have some conclusions uh, from why it's coming out now and we have got the four of swords in reverse and I'm going to have to break for a little cough Sorry about that. It's uh, the windy day. Uh, very windy. It's unbelievably windy. And uh, dust and pollen swirling around. So anyway, our underlying energy is the Four of Swords in reverse. And that is somebody who has got problems, who needs to actually um, do some inner work, some healing, uh, some mending of their ways, some pondering, uh, thinking about themselves, self-reflection, but they're not four of swords in reverse and also somebody whose reputation is in the toilet at this point and this is possibly why stories like this are now coming out people feel it's safe to tell these stories and there might be bigger reasons why these stories are coming out but anyway there it is uh, a, a troubled soul um, who's in trouble um, so tell us about the situation overall situation what are we dealing with Right now, we are dealing with the King of Wands, drama and theatre. Somebody, the spare, who wants attention, who wants to be seen to be funny, um, who doesn't really know how to interact with people. As uh, the story went, he was blending in, sort of. Uh, but then this change, this radical change in his personality and this behaviour, and it's drama and attention-seeking, theatre, it's childish, brutish behavior, even though it's king of wands and attention seeking, um, because as I say, probably not that polished, not much of a conversation unless these, this is my cheat sheet that you can see uh, sliding along in the, <laughs> the right hand corner. I'll put it out the way, my scribbles. Um, but, but somebody who is brutish, awkward, but wanting, wanting to be the life and soul of the party, the funny one, uh, because he doesn't really have much else to offer. That's a, that's a poor interpretation of, well, my, a poor opinion of the King of Wands in this particular reading. He's not always that kind of energy. But as I said at the beginning, I'm just reading energy. So tell us about 16-year-old Harry. What does universe want us to know about him, a signifier for him, information about him? Ah, mummy, the empress. Here's the mother card. Um, and he'd, he was about five years away, uh, off, uh, five years in of being, not orphaned, but uh, of having lost his mother. And uh, that's where the trouble started, the drinking, the smoking, the drug taking, the um, bad behavior, seemingly. Um, allegedly, we can throw one of those on. And it's about mother, mother issues empress but lots of big mother issues and missing his mother and a, a sympathy for him for that uh, uh, absolutely um, as I say I in my very close circle uh, have also uh, been through a situation like this know someone very very close to me who has been through a situation like this did uh, do damage lasting damage and so there it is the, the cards are telling us that's mommy issues uh, through uh, that very sad uh, um, loss of his mother uh, tell us about the sudden change of personality what can the cards tell us about that what might have 
triggered that like a man possessed. Uh, we got the Ace of Swords, so it's not just showing. Um, it's not showing substances. It's not showing things like that. I thought it would, um, that that's what would come up. But um, very often when I think something, uh, the universe decides to show me something that's not quite that obvious. Uh, because otherwise, why would we be doing this, I suppose? Um, so I've been given the Ace of Swords as a clue to what was going on. And it's a statement of intent, the Ace of Swords. It's a thought. It's a decision. A moment of, well, this is what I'm going to do and everyone's going to see what I'm going to do. So it's more of that attention seeking because it, that feather is being clutched in the hand there. I'm going to write this down. I'm going to make a, make, make a statement. But it's, it's cold. The Ace of Swords is never a, a fun card. The King of Wands is, is trying to be fun. Look at me, aren't I hilarious? Uh, but the Ace of Swords is much more, more cold and ruthless than that. So it's very calculated. And that's interesting because I would not have thought that. I would have thought, gone round the bicycle shed or wherever. I'm sure they didn't have a bicycle shed at badminton. But you know what I mean. Um, uh, sniffed some glue and then back uh, chuck girls in the pool uh, but no it's much more calculated than that it's much more and a, a bit terrifying and I left out the real singer of the story because I didn't look at my cheat sheet I was too busy shuffling the cards and talking about rugby but the story ends this excerpt in the Daily Mail ends when the now Duke's brother um, came over to him and said in his best J.R. Ewing uh, voice, which I won't try to in imitate, we got to be real careful. Nothing happens to that boy's older brother. Real careful. So it's like, oh my God, we can't have this one as king. We need to, you know, we need to protect William because this one's crazy. That's basically what the implication of the statement is. We've got to be real careful. Nothing happens to that boy's older brother. So anyway, that's that's a, an interesting little scenario there. Tell us about the girls. How did they feel that night? Terrible. This is a terrible, embarrassing, shocking thing that happened to them. The tower. We have almost a posh, you know, country estate um, there in the background bit wonky uh, but we have falling from the tower a real shock um, and it's a shock because it's in reverse um, is that has had lasting effect on them and I'm reading that reversal in that way I can read it various ways but that's how I'm reading it a, a, a real shock this was something that stayed with them they would have gone home, told mummy, mummy, why have you come home? What were you doing? What were you thinking jumping in the pool at badminton? No, no, we were thrown in by Prince Harry. Uh, shock, shock waves that went through that class uh, at that time because its behavior was so calculated. And so how did they feel about Harry after that? as a potential mate or partner or whatever you want to say. Four of Wands, absolutely not. Four of Wands in reverse. Let's hasten to add. Uh, four of Wands in reverse. There is the castle. That's possible. Uh, if you can uh, close your eyes to this uh, strange behavior, but they couldn't. They didn't want it. They saw the broken home and of course, uh, the the uh, the Wales marriage, the Prince and Princess of Wales marriage, had been all the news up until then, until she died, and a broken home, troubled home. He comes from, and it would be a broken home that we would end up in. I'm speculating, of course. This is my opinion. I'm reading energy of cards, but these cards are very, very clear in terms of the story that they are telling me here today. That they saw that he was broken at some level. He was dangerous. The tower is dangerous energy. It's volatile energy. You don't know what you're going to be getting from day to day with a person in tower energy because 
You can have good days, but you can also have terrible days. And I'm sure that when the speculated divorce or separation happens in Montecito, we are going to hear about that from Megan. We are going to hear about the volatile nature of his moods, his behavior. Uh, that's my opinion, uh, speculation from me as a tarot reader. But four of wands in reverse, it wasn't worth it. Even though there's a castle in the background of this card, in this particular tarot deck, not worth the pain and heartbreak and, and wild mood swings and all the rest of it to get to that castle. And at some stage, inevitably, the marriage, the relationship would fail. This is an unhappy and a scary situation. How about the Toffs? What did they think of his behavior that night? We know what the brother thought. Um, page of swords in reverse, vicious behavior, dangerous behavior. It's page energy, so it's juvenile behavior, literally childish behavior, but cruel, very cruel because it's swords. As I said, with the ace of swords, that's a surprising card for me, but they saw it for what it was. It was cruel, it was vicious, it was calculated, it was mean-spirited. It wasn't, oh, I'm drunk and, you know, what fun to throw. Um... <sighs> I can't think of a posh name, um, in the pool. Um, and then another one and another one and another one until they're all in the pool and nobody's laughing and everyone's horrified. It's cruel. Uh, why didn't they intervene? Why didn't they stop him? Why didn't someone say, oh no, six of pentacles is, uh, I've got a rush of information. I've got to try and pick my way through it and get the right words out. A Six of Pentacles is the reciprocity um, card. You do for me and, and um, I'll do for you. And that is the aristocracy and the royal family. It is is a, a, a very close relationship and that's why there was all this unrest when all the dukes we're told, stay at home, don't bother to dress up and come to the coronation. We're going to invite people from charities instead. Uh, oh, really? Um, you want to still be the king? Uh, you're only the king because we say so. Is that sort of feeling? Um, but uh, yes, oops, and that was a, a poor bird that flew into a window. Right, I'm back from rescuing the bird, flew away. All okay. And I'm um, back at the tarot table. I'm back at the Six of Pentacles. And as I was saying before I was interrupted, it's the quid pro quo card. You support us and we'll support you. So uh, they can't, well, they felt that they couldn't do anything because then they might stand to lose down the line. So it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. So um, conclusions that we can make from the story. Uh, what do we know about Harry's personality as a result of this episode, this incident in his youth, 16 year old Harry? We got the King of Swords in reverse, the same energy uh, that's been coming through for me. This is somebody uh, who is just um, cruel. I have to say that word, that's the energy that's coming off the card. Cruel, premeditated cruelty. Because the King of Swords is about thought and intention. Clarity of thought, uh, truth telling when it's upright, being very intelligent, being very witty. This in the reverse is somebody who's mentally challenged. And I'm going to say that. Uh, it follows from this page of swords in reverse. He, he's now grown up to king of swords in reverse. He was page of swords. He was cruel. He was vicious according to these cards. My interpretation, uh, just my, my opinion. The ace, the ace of swords is telling me he thought this was clever. This was a clever idea. But what we can learn uh, is that he in fact doesn't know what clever is. Um, he himself has uh, said that he objected to being branded as the stupid one and he wasn't stupid and he had that fallout with the ghostwriter because he insisted on something being a witty retort, being in the book and the ghostwriter said, oh no, please don't make me write that. So we've had things like that. We've had Princess Diana herself saying that has been, was a bit mentally challenged. And here we've got the King of Swords in reverse. So we can conclude, according to these cards, that he really is not the brightest and he is cruel 
on top of it. And that's a dangerous combination. Stupid and cruel. My opinion. What can we learn about his relationship with women? His attitude to women? Any problems, issues he might have? According to the energy of these cards. And we have got the seeker in reverse. That's the fool. That's the fool in reverse. Very reckless behavior. Dangerous behavior with the seeker in reverse. We got someone here also who is interesting because we have a large tote bag and those red shoes, those giant red shoes. We haven't talked about the giantness of the shoes for a while, but there those huge shoes are sticking out from that unfortunate outfit, the giant tote bag and the head falling off. Um, it is a dark tarot deck. It's the Shadow, Shadowland tarot deck. It's meant to be a little bit horrifying, but this is somebody who is Risky, who engages in risky behavior. Fool in reverse, dangerous behavior, risky behavior. Takes chances, gets into trouble. You could also say somebody who is led along by this person with the giant red shoes because of the artwork of this card. It's unusual. It's not typical Rider weight, But somebody who's been kind of led astray by that um, quite... Um, elderly looking woman she's, she's an older woman she's a mature woman couldn't find a girl in his own class his own age group his own background because we speculate here on this channel of his behavior at events like this if he behaved like this at this particular party you can bet your bottom dollar that he did it at other parties and got himself a bit of a reputation and mum said we're not having our daughters come home looking like that being treated like that four of wands in reverse not marriage material not going to be a happy marriage even if there's a castle but this one in this seeker card in reverse wanted the castle got the castle uh, Ah, it's very unpleasant energy. I can't tell you what horrible energy is coming off these cards that I am trying to express um, uh, in the um, most discreet way possible, obviously. And uh, But that is the reading. And we have somebody, a very troubled soul here who wanted to show off, wanted to make a statement, thought he was being very clever and very funny, but actually was perceived as being very cruel, and very toxic and very dangerous, too risky to trust your daughter with, to sign up with the toffs. Uh, well, we're not going to do anything because, uh, you know, we need to watch our own backs. And uh, the butler had to step in and save the day. A startling story. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.